you saw the title of the video, you probably thought to yourself, there are still stray draggers on the Great Lakes. What do you mean? And yes, you are correct on that, but those are companies like Algoma and Lower Lakes Towing or Land Rand Logistics. Sorry about that. But those companies are Canadian. I'm talking about American companies with strike daggers. If you think about it, the only American strike daggers that are around that I know of are the Sherwin and the Ryerson. And even then, those are just not in service anymore. Um, but nowadays, every American freighter you see has a cell phone loading boom. Today, I'm going to be explaining why the strike decker industry of America just died out and disappeared. So first of all, freighters have been around for decades or centuries. They were used for the taconite mines of Minnesota and the coal plants of Michigan. Now freighters had su at this time, freighters had such a basic design going for them. At this point, all of them, none of them had self unloaders or anything like that. They just ran off of land equipment to unload their bulk or cargo. Fast forward a few decades from the early 1900s, the first ever self unloading ship was made. The name of the ship was the Wyandotte, and the technology it used to unload its cargo became game-changing for companies around the Great Lakes. After this happened, um, companies started realizing the value of this. Strike deckers start started becoming less relevant. Eventually, after a while, most of the American ships and American companies started relying off of this self-unloading ship or design. At this point, the once thriving industry of strike deckers just became kind of less relevant. Now they weren't they now they weren't useless at this point. Um or they were useless, sorry about that. Companies were just starting to prefer self unloaders over strike deckers. One example of these companies is uh Bradley Transportation. These guys had mainly self unloaders, and I don't blame them. So eventually, many companies just started scrapping so many ships because all of them deemed as not worth their st for st sustaining them and such stuff like that. Now, fast forward to the 2000s, and most American strike deckers are gone. They're just out of service. There are a couple still remaining, but at this point, they're all gone. Companies have moved on with the strike deckers and are completely relying off the self unloaders. The only few well-known ones at this point are the Edward L. Ryerson, and pretty much that's it. Fast forward to modern day, there remains to be none left on the American side of strike deckers. But on the Canadian side, strike deckers have still proved to be useful in some cases for Algoma, Lower Lakes Towing, and Canadian steamship lines. But for the American side, really nothing remains of one, what was once the thriving strike decker industry. Hey guys, I really hoped you enjoyed this video and found it pretty informational. This was a topic that I myself was curious about, so I decided to make a video about it and look into the topic. See y'all in the next video. Peace.